ACP Arawand was a daredevil police officer who is now off duty due to his drinking habits, which he engaged in after his wife Mia and child Minu were murdered by criminals who wanted revenge. Arawand's supervisor requests him to proceed with a parallel investigation in a case involving the disappearance and possible kidnapping of several young married men. Since the present police team is not able to make any progress in the case, Arawand refuses to this. But later, his mother requests him to. Arawand soon gets into the case files and consults the post-mortem documents and the doctors who conducted it. Soon, Arawand is seen making a breakthrough in the case. Another two kidnappings happen in the series. And all this leads to Arawan's rough conclusion of the murderer. The murderer is an eccentric person. Has a limp in his feet. And either hates or loves women. The killer leaves certain clues inscribed by sharp surgical knives on the victim's chests. This serves Arawan's thinking of what kind of person the killer is and who his next target is. Upon careful examination of the words inscribed in the victim's bodies, Arawand uncovers that the words are actually Aramaic, the language that Jesus used for communication. The words are later found to point to biblical proverbs, thus helping Arawand lead to conclusions that the killer is insane and that he assumed the victims gave up their lives for the sins committed by their respective wives. He soon figures out that the wives of the kidnapped husbands have links and they all had to do with a guy who studied with them certain years back. There was absolutely no evidence of such a person. During all these scenes, Arawand realizes that there is one last target. And the killer will not miss this. And he will disappear after that. He eventually finds out that the next target is his own brother and his brother's wife is the last link in the connection. Arawand, with the help of his colleague and other evidences, finds out that the killer has a property. The film ends with Arawand using his presence of mind, apprehending the murderer and saving his brother's life. The story of this movie is adapted from Blake Pierce's novel Before He Kills.